hi guys hope you're doing great our today's question is k closest points to origin it's a medium difficulty level question and one of the top light questions in league code so the question says we have a list of points on the plane find the k closest points to the origin 0 comma 0 here the distance between two points on a plane is the euclidean distance you may return the answer in any order the answer is guaranteed to be unique except for the order that it is in so whenever you have any questions and in interviews which have any terminologies beyond data structures and algorithms, feel free to ask the interviewer and it will not be counted against you. So here the Euclidean distance basically is the uh, distance between two points on a plane which is represented by the square root of x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square where um, x1 comma x2 and y1 comma y2 are the respective two points in the plane right so this is the formula and since here the question states that the, the distance needs to be found from 0 comma 0 which means that one of these points is always going to be 0 comma 0 so then this x1 and y1 will always be 0 and that is why we can easily say that this formula can be boiled down to x2 square plus y2 square um, and square root of that and since we will be applying the square root operation for all the points right so we could as well just use this value to identify which is the closest to the origin so this is the formula we'll be using to find the closest points to the origin in this case uh, now let's understand what essentially would we, we would be doing. Uh, so we are given these points and we are given k, that is the number of closest points that we want to find from the origin. And what we'll be doing is that we'll be finding the distance of this point from 0, 0 and then this point from 0, 0 and then we'll be taking the closest k points that we get. So basically, um, the distance that is the most minimum would be the, the first answer. The second distance the, or the second uh, smallest distance would be the second one, depending on how, may, how much is the value for k, right? So basically, here we, we want to find the minimum values for the distance of these points from the origin, right? And since um, that is the case, right? Uh, we, we basically need to think of something like, like a max heap. So in my previous video, we had done similar problem, which was about get largest elements in an array, where I had spoken about um, my observation regarding if the distance or the value needs to be found out um, that is the smallest values then we we tend to use a max heap and if the value that needs to be found is the largest then we tend to use the min heap so uh, the question approach is pretty clear we would need to use a priority cube but still we can have a glance at all the approaches that are available to solve an unsorted array question so here, as we spoke, we have a clear answer. We can use the top k elements approach using a max heap. Okay. So um, since the default implementation uh, for priority queue is min heap, we would also need to override that implementation. And um, what we would be doing is that we would be overriding the implementation, the compare method of priority queue in such a way that it sorts these points in the order of how close they are to the origin. Okay, So we would not be creating a separate object to store the point and its respective distance from the origin and then sort those objects. Rather, we would sort these points themselves in the priority queue and then um, pull that priority queue whenever the size goes beyond k so that at the end 
we have the list of points which are the closest to the origin. So as and when we will be developing, I think you would understand it better. So let's just start. So let's just create a priority queue first. So as I said that we want to store or sort the points themselves in the priority queue. So our data type for it would be an integer array. Okay. Now we need to redefine the comparator. Okay. Okay. Right. So here, what we need to do is, oops, yeah. All right. So what we need to do is, we need to override the method compare okay and what it gets is two arrays because that's the type of the priority queue and since we want to um, reverse the implementation the default implementation of a min heap right so since we want to reverse it what we'll be doing is we'll be doing the math on b and subtracting the math on a from it so that it it acts as a max heap. So what we basically do is that we calculate the Euclidean distance for B minus the Euclidean distance for A. Okay. So we have to return zero plus B of one into B of one. Okay minus a of 0 into a of 0 plus a of 1 into a of 1. Right. So this is going by this formula, right? So these are the respective distances and we have, we want a max heap. Uh, we want the bigger values first so that they can be eliminated in the queue while we are inserting these points into the queue. So that's why we are doing this B minus A kind of a thing. Okay. All right. So now what we need to do is just use a for, okay, for loop and simply just iterate through all the points. So what we do is just add it to the priority queue and then if the size of the priority queue is greater than k right because we want to insert k elements and then when we insert the k plus 1th element we want it to heapify and pull the k plus 1th element so that we have k elements in the priority queue which are closest to the origin. Okay, so that's the concept. So if that is the case, we just do a pq dot pull. Remove the element at the tip of the heap, right? Okay, so the priority queue now contains our answer. It's just that we need to make it an array, the, the, the way we want to return it from this function. So since we know that there will be k points and each will have two elements, we know the size. So while the priority queue is not empty, right, it's not empty, sorry. Okay, what we do is, um, yeah, we would also need an int i equals zero, right? So we'll just say result of i should be equal to p 
pq.pull. Just keep pulling the results and just adding them. Okay. And just do an I++. That's all. Right. So, yeah. So, what do we return? We return the result. Great. Okay. Let's just try to run this and see if it works. Also, we need to remove this. Okay. Cool. Let's submit it. Great. So the time complexity for this would be the same O of n log k, right? Um, and the space complexity would also be um, O of k, k plus 1, because that is the only maximum amount of elements that we'll ever be storing in the priority queue. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And keep coding and take care of yourself, guys. Have, have a great time.